All right, guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new here. And this video is going to be about changing the Aerial Rider Grizzly stock tires and putting on these Super 73 Grizzly, the V Moto tires, 20 by 4 by 5. Here are the tools you're going to need that will help. So you're going to need a um, 21 millimeter socket. And you don't have to have the power tool, but these are helpful items. You're going to need a um, four millimeter Allen wrench, X wrench, and you're going to need some tire levers, plastic ones so they don't scratch the rim. And you're going to need half inch drive for the socket wrench. Now, if you don't have that, you can use an adjustable wrench, something like this. And this will also take off the bolts, but you do need this comes with the Grizzly Toolkit, four millimeter. This is an aftermarket park tools, park tools kit. Um, that's just a little higher quality. So that's to take off the front two pork, torque uh, retaining safety things on the front. I'm gonna start by disconnecting each motor. Um, so you gotta twist these off. Oh, if you, another thing that you might want is a bucket. So when you're working on the wheel, and also, I like to lube up some dish soap in some water, and that will help seat the wheel easier, help get the wheel on initially. We'll disconnect the front, and also the rear, and we might need to uh, cut a zip tie in the back also. So I'll go ahead and cut these and add these back later. This one here. And that way you can take it off. And then I'm going to unscrew this motor retaining screw. And now the motors are disconnected. And I'm using a 21 millimeter half inch drive. And I'm going to go ahead and do. Lefty Lucy to get it off. Loosening this 21 millimeter also on this side. I can get all these first loosened and I'll use my tool to. Uh... Also, another tip is you can. When you're flipping your bike up center, you could put like a few towels down there, rolled up. So I use a foam nut that I cut from a memory foam. And we're gonna take this side off also. And there's also this torque safety thing that we gotta remove. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this, put this on speed one. Slide this on here, put it on reverse. And that's going to allow me to easily take off each bolt. I'm going to put them on the same sides so I remember. It's good to use thread lock when you're putting it back on, also. So I will be doing that. And there is a washer here, so we gotta take this off also. It's strange that the rear doesn't have a, a torque protector thing. I might somehow add one of those later, somehow. All right, so got the bolt and the washer off. I don't think we need to take the derailleur guard off or anything, so now. Oh, actually, uh, let's, it should just come off. Gotta work it around there. It's almost there. There we go. We can use this bucket here and place it on and lean on the spokes here. That will make working with the tire easier. Two torques things off. And then... I'll remove the wheel.
Again, it's a good idea to use thread lock glue on these later on when you're putting back on. Bikes have a lot of vibrations, so it's gonna be safety. So you put those back on with some thread lock. Feel much safer that it won't shake off when I'm riding. So I'm gonna undo this one. This one's a lot tighter. And also, the thread lock acts like a lubricant when you're screwing it back in, so it makes it a little less, less is a chance that you're gonna strip the threads, which is nice. All right, here we go. We're gonna take this last torque piece off, and now the wheel also will come off on this one straight up. The brake doesn't need to come off. Let me slide my tools over. So this wheel should just come right straight off. And just carefully pull it out so it doesn't hit the brake caliper. And I'm just gonna lean this against this wood for now. And it's easy to remember, the brakes are on the, the left-hand side. I'll bleed out the air in here. I'm gonna start my compressor up so it's all ready. So I'm just letting the air out of here. So let's get the clamp on my tire inflator. So it's too lazy to hold it down. So this came in three in a pair. So I'm gonna put a some soap around the wheel here. I'm gonna fix this while I'm at it. As you can see, it's something's weird here. So I'll go ahead and fix this inner tire liner. Push it back correctly. Now, it could have just been me that did it, or it could have been improperly installed at the factory. But while you're at it, I'm gonna center everything here. It definitely looks like it was not centered correctly. Arrow goes that way. So we're gonna go clock, going clockwise. This again, I'm gonna beat it up here, nice. Some soap there, soapy water there. Just gonna do it on this side. All right. Now I should be able to just push the wheel on. It should just slide on. Yeah, perfect. See, so it makes it nice now. The lettering, I'm going to put it by the air valve because I always like to do that. So let's find the air valve, it's over there. So I'm going to put it right where it says in the center there. So it's going to be like that. We could always slide it down in a second. Right, next step is to put the inner tube in. So we're going to be putting that side in first. And we're going to push most of it in first here. Next we're going to bring it down and get the tube nipple through. There we go. Schrader valve. Push it through and 
get it so it pops out like that. Then you could work on the tire and push the rust in here nice and gently. Lifting the tire to help push it in. Good, so that's in. Now we're gonna work on putting, seating the bead. Um, now what you wanna do is, we'll start on this side, I think. Slide that in. And get this nice and deep push down here. So this is towards the inner smaller diameter part and work it around and with the soap and water it should make it so much easier and just pop in boom and that's all it took so let's go ahead and push in here sometimes it's hard to put these on when you don't have pressure on them so i'm going to try and sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta just hope it grabs on good and give it a shot yep it's filling up so you're gonna hear some pops to turn this sucker on PSI top oh it's already filling up nice I'll go ahead and weigh the two tires, give you a difference in weight in two seconds after I seat this one. We're at 50 PSI. I'm going to check, check to see if it's seated. Now you see this, as long as all this is in, it might not even pop. If you have soap and it fits perfect, it won't even pop. As long as that nice bead around there is nice, usually you're pretty golden. I'm going to check the other side real quick. Verify that it's seated in here. Look around, make sure it's a nice and even bead. Perfect. This is ready to go back on the rear. But before we... I'm using thread locker 243 blue thread locker. And I'll just put some on the thread here. Back on. I don't like how this is so close always, but I think that's part of how it is. Alright. I'll just preliminary connect this here. Put some thread locker. Right. Spin this back on. Things on. Some thread lock on them. So the last step is I'm going to set number 75. That's 75 on that side. So 
75 there. Okay. 75 on this side. So a little torque down. Go ahead and release the spring in here. Alright guys, well hopefully you guys found this video useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps out um, the algorithm. And as always, uh, thank you for watching.